in the social champion awarded boxing promotion, Young Promoter Cooper Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, the assistant player from the Great San Jose Board, the Attitude of Boxing and Iron Cup and Sports, Miss Jacqueline Ricardo R. Nido, and I am also in charge of Tony M. R. Benitez. Ladies and gentlemen, the three judges at Great Sides, when you start on the Tampoint Mass System, will be Jax Akil Tamano. Patricia Lorente and Daniela Rodas. And when the bell rings, you will be in charge of the action, Gregorio Garcia. The third rank position at Wings and Dr. Jeremy Lewis. We tell Dr. Miguel Dama and Dr. Angelina So, your official timekeeper, Dama. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Jesus Girls, finding out the blue corner, wearing black with yellow trim. Officially, 130 grams. With a professional record of four wins, one win coming by way of knockout with 11 defeats and one pound even. From Bangkok, Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Virginia <laughs> And we support across the ring from the other red corner. Wearing red and wearing 150 pounds. Her professional record is five wins. Two wins coming by way of Lama with two degrees. And one down even. The fighting pride of Bontai Boxing Club, Australia, ladies, gentlemen, Ray Sarkstrong. Let's get the record of all its subjects.
Establish the fight at range and don't let Lin push you forward. Thus far, uh, the Thai hasn't been able to do that as Lin commands the center of the ring. We've seen pretty much this whole fight thus far. Lin Sandstrom's back and uh, the Thai's back against the ropes. Same story for the second round as both fighters return to their corners. One really good one too, I think we're about to see here. Oh, it's a beautiful right hand. More of a chopping right hook most meaningful punch of the fight yet. Oh. If I were in Cunha's corner, I'd wait for that lead jab. Every time Lin starts to jab, it, she tends to lean forward. And as that body moves forward, it exposes the head. A real good hook or a good uppercut would be the answer to that one. Yeah, they're good instructions. Then I'm sure uh, they're really good instructions, Franca. I'm sure the coach, Tony Davecchio, very animated. He's uh, encouraging Lynn to adjust. She's swept the first two rounds, mm -hmm. but um, she's got to land some more meaningful punches. I'll ask you if there was any one thing you could tell Lynn Sandstrom right now, Franco, what would it be? Well, definitely you're the stronger fighter, and clearly you are commanding, you have a commanding lead. So might as well, if you want to finish this fight early, make sure that, I mean, you don't have to go for the clinch. You can actually fight from the distance, yeah. see? Look at that jab, it's popping in and out, throw more combinations. You can't rely on a jab and then come inside, go for a clinch. That disrupts your momentum. Yeah, totally. It kind of, I mean, it stops your opponent from mounting anything, but at the same time, it disrupts your rhythm. Yeah, it blunts your momentum as well. And she's got the momentum, but she's not giving herself enough room to punch. She does land in a couple of really good shots, but they're few and far between. Like you said, Franco, hold things at a range and release shots without smothering. That's a nice jab by me. See, why not? It's time for her to mix it up, you know, throw a jab straight, lead with a straight, you know, step inside. Clearly, she has better footwork. But once again, she goes inside and then goes for that clinch. 
We don't know yet. She's pro she probably w it's an eight round fight, so she probably wants to take this in deep waters. You know? Yeah, I agree with that. I think, uh, maybe the ties were famously mm -hmm. so tough. You can see that in the ties leg. They're not really bothered, so she's yeah. not willing to step backwards. So Lin every time crashes into her. The Thai's not willing to give distance and Lin is willing to attack, so we've got a bit of a formula here. Like you said, Franco, it'd be really good if Lin could establish some range and try to pick off shots from the outside. Yeah, because you can't really go body shot, you can't really go body shot per body shot and then create the referee will stop that, it will stop that clinch. Then you end up resetting, then you go for a jab and then you're going to go inside once again, see? Yeah. If I were in Cunha's corner, I'd be like, move to the side, okay? Wait for her to lunge, move to the side, throw a hook. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, or an uppercut. Just <laughs> then, or really an uppercut. Coming. An yeah. uppercut would be really bad. Uh, I think an uppercut would be better. So you can see highlights from the previous round. Yeah, we've definitely got a rhythm for this fight thus far. Lin Sandstrom is coming forward and scoring more, mm -hmm. but uh, neither fight has landed anything truly meaningful thus far. I think, hopefully, Franco, Coach Tony Delvecchio from the Bono Boxing Club will instruct his charge to start to create some range in this round, start to land meaningful shots from range and keep it at range. And I mean, she needs to let that right hand go. She needs, she needs to pop those combinations. Let's see what happens. We are approaching, I think this is the fourth round? Fourth or fifth round? Fourth round. Yeah, you're right. Fourth, fourth round, round of a scheduled eight round fight for the WBA Asia female super flyweight champion between Lynn Sandstrom of Australia versus Kunchit Kunya of Thailand. There we go, Frank. Yeah, we see the referee warning both fighters. Mm -hmm. She's focusing on the Thai girl, but warning them less clinching, more fighting. There we go. Lin steps back. She doesn't crash in. Nice footwork by Lin Sandstrom. Shuffles in and out. Yeah. Finishes off with the jab. Oh, oh, now we see hand. Sandstrom throw a hook. Yeah. <laughs> some dirty boxing yeah, there by the Yeah, some dirty thigh. boxing uppercuts there from the thigh. Yeah. She's let's see how <laughs> let's see how Sandstrom reacts to yeah, that one. She's been pushed around in this fight. She's mm -hmm. probably a little bit angry. She lands a good right hand there. That was a and good short step. Check. Nice. Yep. Lynn Sandstrom trades some hard body shots. They landed a couple of good ones there. They muscle each other on the ropes. I think the referee needs to get even more involved in this mm -hmm. fight. It's good to see Lynn creating a little bit more space. Hopefully she can employ that even more. We've got some fainting from Lynn. The tie, not intimidated whatsoever. Good lateral movement. Yeah. We need more of that from the thigh fighter. Cunha needs to work more so that she can get away from that corner. Every time, every time, every time Sandstrom decides to lunge forward, it's enough. I mean, she covers enough distance to pin her opponents against the ropes. Yeah, Lin's got great fast feet. She really covers the distance good, but she's got to look like you said, let that right hand go. Let it go. Tony Dovecchio, <laughs> the Bondo Boxing Club, adamant that Lynn has to change, adjust, because she's got the firepower and the athleticism. Lynn, Lynn, let the right hand go. On two. More reminders from the referee of, as we approach the final 10 seconds of the fourth round between Lynn Sandstrom and Kunchit Kunya. Pretty much the same story, yeah, Ben. It is. Lynn was able to create a little bit more distance at the same time here. By the way, Frank, I was watching this. This isn't overly spectacular, but that inside fighting is rough. And you can see there's a lot of energy being used when you're grappling with someone who's pushing their weight against you and also hitting you in the solar plexus and the ridge, the ribs. It's tough going in there. And now we're seeing some sort of retaliation from the Thai fighter. You know, a little bit of that sneaky uppercut to the face, hitting the body between the bricks. I mean, if you're Cunha, she wants to fight dirty, then let's go dirty. Yeah, I'd say that as well. Tell the Thai fighter, you know, you're not going to win with range. It's not going to be a boxing, a boxing clinic. Hurt her, push her backwards, make it rough. Play to your own strengths or any kind of advantage you can leverage. 
Obviously, for Lynn Sands from the advantages she should be leveraging from a long range, fast hands and fast feet without smothering. And so Good far, job. she's been restricted to that jab. She needs to throw more punches. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about volume here. Hey, okay, jab straights, jab uppercuts, you know, lead straights. This is a better start from Lynn Sandstrom. Long range jabs without smothering. That's three really good unanswered jabs. We're waiting for that right hand by Franco. Finally, some straights from both fighters. Yeah. Now we're back to the clinch. Good reaction there by the referee, and we go back center of the ring. Lynn Sandstrom coming forward, beautiful head movement and a nice jab, nice range, not smothering, but she's got to let more of those right hands go. Absolutely true. Yeah, nice little check hook there by the TIE fighter. She landed a decent left hook. Now, every time Sandstrom moves forward, he gets, she gets that reaction. Now she just needs, she just needs to let go. She right. needs to let those hands go. <laughs> she does. It's a rough fight, these two. Sounds more like a tennis match at times. Lynn, very vocal when mm -hmm. she throws her punches. Yes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, beautiful jab there by both fighters, I think. It was a really hard jab. Cunha definitely needs more lateral movement. She needs to stop engaging this clinch. She needs to move around. You know, you can definitely do that by shuffling to your side. Coach Tony from the Bondo Boxing Club, adamant that uh, the majority of the clinching is caused by the tie opponent who narrowly misses with an overhand right, Lynn beautifully and masterfully avoids by a few inches. Final 10 seconds of this round. There we go. Things slowly heating up, slowly. It's slowly heating up as we approach the sixth round of a scheduled eight round bout, eight round bout between Lynn Sandstrom versus Gunchit Punya. Sandstrom is from Australia, Punya is from Thailand. This is for the vacant WBA Asia Female Super Flyweight Championship belt. If you've just tuned in, this is Fran Corolloda. I am with Ben McCullough. You, we are live inside the Elorde Grand Ballroom here in Sukat Paranaque. You are watching us from Elorde TV. As we see the Thai coach trying to implore his charge, the young female Thai fighter, to throw some straight right hands. Uh, we've been commenting on Lynn's absence of right hands, but she threw a few in the last round. It's the TIE fighter especially that needs to start to let go with some strong, long offense instead of clinching. 100%. We've seen a little bit more action in the previous round. Let's see how that carries over to the sixth round. That's a beautiful jab to start by Lynn. Really good. Nice footwork by Now Lynn. Cunha decides to go for the body. Yeah, it's good to see. Nice right hand by Cunha. Though Lynn avoids it. Gets under the left hook. More body shots by Sandstrom. More jabs and clinches from Lynn Sandstrom. Cunha needs to move farther away, you know, you can't, can't allow Lynn Sandstrom to just walk you down, take you to a corner and go for a clinch. Yeah, she really is the star. She's been controlling all of this fight. It's good to see Lynn Sandstrom bring her right foot up with her right hand. And it'd be good, obviously, to see the tie opponent let go with some more offense. I mean, come on, ladies. This is for the WBA Asian Pacific, I believe. Super Flyweight Championship yeah. belt. Super Flyweight Championship. These girls are going to start to punch. Look at the more. intensity of Sandstrom's yeah. coach. <laughs> Tony Ovecchio. Excellent trainer, full of passion as well. The most audible guy in the whole arena. And she's ordering Sandstrom to walk her down, throw punches. Two jabs there. Jab. Yeah, that was really nice. By Lynn. That's ending the clinch, unfortunately. That's been a groin shot. Ah! 
The big man, the gloves are caught in the braids. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of the many hazards. And uh, the crowd loves it. Tony Del Vecchio is cheering okay. and Sandstrom is laughing. Good break from uh, yeah, a bit of the color serious there. atmosphere. Oh, beautiful jab there. One of the best jabs thrown the entire fight by Lynn Sandstrom. And we finish off this round. Is that the, the sixth, Franco? Yeah, we are entering the seventh round. Good body work there by Sandstrom. A lot of the, the main story of this fight so far, Ben, is that inside fighting from both female boxers here right now. It's like, however, and going back to your point, it's not really as exciting as we'd hope it would be, but Sandstrom's ahead. She's doing a great job. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a matter of does she employ the same strategy leading to the last two rounds, or will she take this fight and finish off Cunha? Yeah. yeah, I think she, she'll try to lift. She won't coast. She's built up a lead. She's won every round. Not spectacularly, but definitively. But uh, Lynn Sandstrom's a talented athlete. You probably didn't know this, folks, listening in on Facebook through Lauder TV. Lynn Sandstrom used to be a national champion uh, at ping pong in the native of Sweden. Yep. Yes, yeah, very talented athlete. I think she'll be looking to use her legs a little more and really pick her apart as opposed to going back to the same formula, which is just pulling her head. And those legs and that nasty, the, I mean, that crafty footwork has been the edge that Sandstrom has for this entire bout. I'd like to see Lynn Sandstrom, which I mentioned last time, bring her right foot up just a little bit more. She's got that brilliant footwork, which Tony's worked on. She's able to change, uh, ch shoot from mid to inside to outside so quickly. But uh, just when she brings that offense, the right hand's not coming up quite enough, though. She does land a good one too there, Franco. We're definitely seeing more action here in the seventh round. Yeah. Nice range too. That's my A jab straight there by Sandstrom. More jabs from Sandstrom. It's a nice little combination trade, middle of the ring. Both fighters throw hard, meaningful punches. Cunha's very tentative though. You know, every time that Sandstrom is able to bridge that gap, she ends up throwing rabbit punches. I mean, you got to try an uppercut. You have to try a short stabbing check hook. Yeah, definitely. There's an absence of variety from uh, Kunya's attack. And now we're back in the clinch and Sandstrom putting in the work. Final 10 seconds of the seventh round. And seventh round is in the books as both fighters go back to their corners. As we see the WBA Asia Super Featherweight Champion Charlie Suarez walk into the building. He will be the main event of the evening. So tune in, ladies and gentlemen, to Elorde TV for that fight. We are approaching the eighth and final round for the WBA Asia Female Super Flyweight Championship between Lynn Sandstrom of Australia versus Kunchit Kunya of Thailand. Eight and final round. Here we go, live on Facebook, Alorde so, TV. The WBA Asia, Asia Super Fema, Flyweight Super Championship. Flyweight, the eighth and final round. What's been a definitive, definitive victory thus far for Lynn Sandstrom. The way I see the it, opponent can change the rhythm of the fight in the last round. And the way I see it, this is going to be cruise control round for Sandstrom. This is make or break for Cunha. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what the scoring would indicate, but I think Lynn Sandstrom's still looking to put a, uh, an exclamation mark on this fight. 
She's still coming forward. Making Beautiful sure count. that she's not taking any chances. Yeah, yeah. Really nice range from Lin. She's controlled the range really well. She's going to throw some more meaningful one-twos and one-two left hooks. Beautiful jabs. Now we're seeing more combinations from both fighters. Those are three unanswered uppercuts from Lin Sandstrom. Credit to both fighters. This is the eighth round in a very hot Elorde ballroom, and both fighters are still throwing punches. We can see punches flaring and sweat flying. It's the eighth round. I will say it again. Lynn Sandstrom is still in really good positioning. Both her hands are up, her elbows are in, her head's moving. Very impressive stuff to this fit. And the tie opponent, you know, without the best record, has been in this fight the whole time, hasn't looked damaged. That is true, 100%. And is it safe to say, as we approach the final 30 seconds of this fight, then that. Um, Lynn is coming home with that belt. Yeah. So it is safe to say. Very safe to say. Uh, the tie's done fantastic in the sense of being very, very tough, but uh, mm -hmm. just haven't really offered up any meaningful, uh, any meaningful punches. Mm -hmm. And as a result, any meaningful questions that Lynn has to answer. That is true. Nice little rabbit punch there on the, the That end. was a last, yeah. last ditch uppercut effort from Cunha yeah, as we hugging. finish eight rounds. Now we will go to the scorecards.
And that is it, ladies and gentlemen, your new WBA Asia female super flyweight champion, Lynn Sandstrom from Australia. see some slow-mo action from the fight. When you see a play back in slow-mo, you can see even though a lot of these punches are just jabs, meaningful hard shots. Thank you. 